It is Wednesday, my dudes. So you know what that means. It's time for another action figure review and there we get the Marvel Legends Colossus Builder Figure Wave Sabertooth. I already got another Sabertooth but it was in my opinion way too slim and I wanted that bulky Sabertooth feeling and I think that's the figure to go. I got it really cheap so let's just don't waste too much time and just open this thing. Okay, and here's the first look 360 uh, on this figure and I gotta say I expected way less and it got more accessories than it first looked like so just wanted to give you a quick look at the figure at first and then I'm going to get my big ass hands in there so yeah let's do this now Okay, let's take a look at the articulation at first. First up we got that vertical hinge here on the back of his head with a ball on top so he can really move it pretty good. Uh, then we get ball joints on here which are pretty good. They're not too stiff and not too, too loose. And we get that body crunch here, the ab crunch. We got swivels here on the hips with a belt on top of it. We got the normal leg articulation and double oh, jointed knees. Holy shit. Okay, these were stiff at the first. Uh, we, so we're we supposed to be having swivels here on the shin, but they're not able to move because of the way the boot is on. But I think under it is probably another swivel then we get swivels here and a vertical hinge over here and all the hands i think are here on a horizontal hinge so let's take a look to the articulation the next fuck it no, i've been talking about i mean the accessories okay and that's stacked we got one other head we got why the hell ever two ponytails we got two interchangeable fists and we got the BAF piece I'm going to show you that real quick at first we got that Colossus head with a rage face which looks way better than I thought and we got here those bands off his head and you can pull it in there and the cool thing is it's as you probably have seen on a dot joint I don't know how these are called but that means you can kind of pose it I mean they always looking at one direction of the wind which is pretty good because he can even jump from high up and goes like that so that's really really cool I really like that detail okay and let's see let's switch out some parts on that saber tooth First, let's pop off the head, and there we got. Let's see the difference between those two heads. Like this, we got one smiling face, uh, and one raged face. So yeah, that's pretty good, and it's kind of part of the story behind of that figure. Okay, let's pop this head on. This is going to be hard, I think. Oy, okay, that was pretty pretty much easier than I thought. Let's attach those ponytails. First one here. And I guess, I mean, the first thing is those ponytails are also uh, articulated with one dot. So you can just kind of rotate it. Uh, so if he jumps down, you can do it like that. But it's not working that good so if he's looking up a little bit too much you see it's going here onto his back but I think yeah these are exactly the same mold so let's attach this one on here I really thought these are different pieces that you can switch around but it's for each head one Okay, and now we have those opened hands that probably can't hold any weapon. Uh, so 
let's switch these out to the fist. Okay. There we got the fist number one. And here we got a normal brown fist. Oops. Stick it in. Like this. And okay, that one is not moving at all. That hurts me a lot. Okay, now it's moving. So yeah, there we got the fists. So yeah, that was pretty much all about the figure itself and the accessories. So let's talk about the details, which aren't that many. First up, let's see that hat here. Oh, we got some hair hanging down. Got the teeth in here and all that beard that is going into the hair, which is really awesome. Fists are probably almost the same. Uh, we got in here uh, some silver paint on the fist for his arm here, which is really good. Uh, another thing that I think is really awesome, they've done the same at uh, the Wolverine 5 pack. Uh, here is molded hair in there. And a little paint over it, so it looks like hair. I gotta say they've sold it, solved it really good, uh, because some blonde hair to make some blonde hair look like your hairy on an arm or something like that. It's pretty hard, but they picked the right color on that ring here on his attire. Let's fix the lighting a little bit again. Uh, we got molded in there some battle damage, which looks absolutely badass. Uh, he will go to his teeth and a little bit of uh, a little bit of flesh in his uh, between his teeth. That's also pretty neat. And yeah, a leathery uh, leathery belt and boots. So. That is that and that I think that's a pretty good figure because I bought it at a price point of 17 euros uh, These are normally in Germany for 30 uh, I Think back in the day these were for $20 uh, Even though they aren't too old, but uh, Gotta say for a cheap price. This is actually the saber tooth to go uh, I think the two pack one that is coming out or actually just came out. I'm not sure if it's out, but is one touch of a better look. Uh, but that one really does it for me at first. Uh, I don't know how much money I'm wasting on action figures, but all in all, I gotta say, I'm really happy with that figure. And in a rating from one to ten, I gotta say. This figure gets a solid 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 is a good price, uh, good rating on a figure like this. So yeah. So yeah, this was the first part of the week. Sunday is coming another video, as you probably know. Two videos a week, always remember. And if you want to see something special, some certain things on my channel, just ask I'm probably going to waste more money on toys because I just love it and yeah hope I see you at the next whatever I'm doing and goodbye for now see you on probably Sunday